All right. Uh, here with Mike Metzer. Thank you for being here, Mike. Yes. Glad to be here. All right. Well, I just wanted to get with you. I'm very proud. I'm very excited. Uh, you got your first deal, first mobile home deal. Actually, let me be more specific. Uh, first mobile home deal with the uh, mobile home deal maker formula. Um, real quick, uh, your your background. Uh, your background, yes. Okay, I'm retired. I spent uh, 34 years in law enforcement, so I have a little experience dealing with people. And I've been, uh, you know, real estate dabbling for the last seven or eight years. We own an eight-plex apartment house, and uh, I was looking for something that uh, similar to that that uh, wouldn't uh, cost, you know, cost a lot of money to begin with. And um, I saw your program uh, on uh, real estate. Uh, the real estate investor site. Mm -hmm. I was a little bit leery at first, as I am. Uh, it's just my nature being in law enforcement for 30 some years. So uh, I did give John a call and kind of ask him a little bit. You know, I've uh, been duped a few times with uh, real estate deals, so I want to make sure that this was going to work. Uh, so basically, uh, I started uh, this program on March 16th, and May 28th, I will have my first home uh, sale completed. <laughs> Fantastic. You know, um, we didn't prep for this, and I, and I really thank you for that. Uh, um, there's no better compliment than somebody as seasoned as yourself, um, you know, taking uh, the cautious steps to, to to move forward. And and I'm and I'm glad because this this program did did pay off, and I'm available for you, and we're able to talk and you know get your questions answered. So um, I'm really glad that you weren't duped for a you know. A, a, fifth, a fifth or sixth time. <laughs> um, uh, let's talk about that uh, deal, um, how you found it, um, and then the numbers to the to the, to the deal, if if you wouldn't mind. All right. Uh, I found, uh, you know, first of all, I, I live in Iowa, so I found the deal on Craigslist. And uh, I probably looked at uh, probably 30, 40 uh, different deals on Craigslist before I found uh, the three-bedroom, two-bath, of which I bought. Uh, I found I found deals that uh, I'm glad I backed away from because people wouldn't sell it on a contract. They don't understand the investors thinking. They think that uh, we just go to banks, borrow money, and buy buy property, and we don't do that. But this uh, deal I found on Craigslist uh, was for uh, a little over almost nine thousand dollars. The uh, mobile home needed a little work. I think I estimated about two uh, two thousand dollars of uh, you know work that it basically people can do on their own. Uh, you know maybe a roof, a ceiling, a couple spots in the ceiling, a couple soft spots in the floor that they can repair themselves. Um, so I offered the lady half of what she was asking for. I offered four thousand bucks cash for it, and she took it. And I had an end buyer in mind because they were you know, running uh, an eight-plex apartment. I had uh, tenants there that, yeah, I was looking for places for them. I just didn't know where to look. I found this uh, mobile home, and they were very excited, and they qualified uh, you know, through the, the mobile home park to, to buy this place between me and them, and uh, it worked out great. I uh, more or less at least uh, two and a half times what I bought it for, I sold it for. Or right, now talking about the selling. So you, uh, you're you're out the money that you that you put out. You're you're, you're going to be paying the uh, the seller all all cash. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little bit of money for closing. Uh, now, are you doing any re repairs on the home, or you're you're just going to be selling it as as is? Nope, I'm selling it as is as is. The people that looked at it, uh, they got enough talent in their family. They said we can repair what this thing needs to be done to it. And I said that's fine because. If I were to sell it, uh, you know, fixed up, it would have been uh, for an extra three, probably three thousand more than what I asked for it to begin with. And they were happy with that. Uh, they looked at it. There are three, uh, three trailers, uh, three mobile homes down from where uh, their this uh, guy's sister lives. So they're just very happy to be there. It, I, I love it when it works out like that. The sell, the sellers are happy. The buyers are very, are very happy. Uh, so you want, you're, you're not going to have any holding cost on this, pro, on this property. Um, and oh, do, you, do you mind going over the uh, sales numbers with us? The sales numbers, uh, the way I figured that out, I and mean, again, this was with John's help. Uh, I took the lot rent, which included uh, 
which included water and trash already in the lot rented cell. So that's 450 bucks. Then I uh, added to that the amount that I would need to make any money, which was uh, $300, $300 to that uh, their original payment. So their payment's going to be around 760 bucks plus their utilities, and they're going to own it in three years. So you know, and they were very happy with that. Uh, so the numbers, they worked out well. This is the way I run the numbers to begin with. Uh, I got, uh, basically I got $1,300 to move in that they're going to pay me. I suspended the first three months so they could use that, those payments to fix this place up. And I'll start their actual payments uh, in actually October because they gave me $300 for the month of uh, September as well. So uh, it worked out very well. You know. Out of pocket, it's only about uh, twenty seven hundred dollars for me, and I'll have that paid back in probably no time before I start making all all profit. Right, and then for the next, uh, so it'll give, it'll take you a few months to to get your money back, and then after that, uh, you have a couple years of just cash flow profit. Um, now, uh, going back to the, you said it took you maybe thirty to forty, or maybe a little bit more or less. Um, sellers for you to talk to before you found this particular deal. Do you think that those 30 or 40 sellers that you talked to that originally said no, um, are, are you going to be recontacting them? Do you feel like, you know, the bridge has been burned and they, you're not going to purchase their home or are any of them you're still talk, talking with? I, uh, in fact, it's uh, funny that you asked that question. I just recontacted one today. And uh, he has gone down from 20000 to 12000 but he will not sell it on a contract. He says that's a minimal investment, and I explained to him basically what investors do. That they use their own money. They don't use banks, so if we used our own money to buy every piece of property, I said, I'd run out of money in two months. And he just won't budge. He's going to stay at twelve grand with no contract. That's fine. You know, I wish him good luck, and I go on to the next one. There's probably two other people I will probably recontact. To see if they have sold it yet, uh, you know, some of these have been on the market for three, four months, and they haven't had any uh, had any traffic on them yet. So, um, I guess, to, you know, emphasize to people: don't give up just because they say no the first time, because <laughs> right. they're they're going to uh, they're going to find out that they're going to get their money. It's just going to be over a period of time if they choose to go a contract. So, right. uh, I got probably two more to contact. Some of them have sold their properties that I've recontacted, which you know that's going to happen. And mm -hmm. I'll, uh, you know, I'll start another group here as soon as I get this one closed. Great. Um, one last question, the that I can think of anyway. Um, we've we've been talking in the, in the last uh, well over this period of time, um, working one on one with somebody versus a program that you. Uh, let's say that, that, that you just had the online version of the course, which you obviously do, um, but that you didn't have access to somebody that you could talk to. Um, has, been, has being able to uh, talk to me and get me on the phone and uh, us talk weekly uh, or as you need, is, has that been a help? Uh, you know, how would you gauge that? Uh, that's huge. Uh, this online stuff... Uh... You can't talk, you know, all you can do is basically once in a while somebody will call you, but they aren't going to give you any help. The online stuff um, it gives you an idea, but talking one-on-one -on -one with a human voice is uh, a huge difference because it just made, uh, you know, talking to you, I think we've been on the phone four or five times, and people also need to understand that you will call clients for them to kind of explain in depth a little bit more so because of your experience that we don't know. And uh, I can tell people because of what you said to uh, your conversations you had with uh, my seller's brother helped sell this, it basically helped sell her on, on the cash value. So talk to somebody one-on-one, -on -one, in person, voice to voice is huge. Mike, thank you so much for uh, coming on and agreeing to talk to talk with me and giving your interview and I know that this is helping a lot of people um, or this will help a lot a lot of people um, not only in their in their own belief but uh, there's definitely been a few nuggets on following up with sellers and uh, you know having someone there a professional someone that's been 
uh, in this business, someone that you can talk to is very important. Um, thank you again, Mike. Any Anything else that you want to tell anybody or uh, emphasize or anything that you can well, think of? People see your name. It's the, it's the real thing. So uh, it's not going to be something that's just going to be online and you'll never hear a voice. So people need to understand that. This is this is a very good program, and you can do it on without a huge amount of money to get started with. 